Hi class, I'm going to demonstrate how to construct box plots in Google Sheets. So first thing you have to do, of course, is to open up a new Google spreadsheet. So I've opened up a new spreadsheet here and I've pasted in my data. So this is the same data that I used in my ANOVA video. And the way that the data needs to be arranged in order to do box plots in Google Sheets is in a stacked format. So what I mean by stacked is that for each group I have them stacked on top of each other. So you can see that I have one column that has board color, one column that has the number of insects trapped, and so I've got here all the blue, and then underneath the blue I've got all the green, underneath that I have all the white, underneath that I have all the yellow. So this is the stacked format as opposed to each color getting its own column. Once I have the data in, entered in correctly, in order to do box plots, I need to install the statistics add-on. So I'm going to go up here to the add-ons um, menu item and say get add-ons. And there's bazillions of different add-ons that you can get. So I'm going to use the search box to find the statistics add-on. So the add-on that I want is this one right up here at the top that says statistics, so I'm going to click the plus button, and it's going to go ahead and just let me install it, ask me about my Google account and everything. Okay, and now um, I have installed the statistics add-on, I can go ahead and use it. So. I go under add-ons now, now you can see that statistics is listed there. And so when I hover over statistics, there's a couple of options. And the one I want to choose is describe the data. All right, now that I have my describe the data toolbox, tool sheet thing over here up, um, I'm going to add the variable. So this is asking me for the quantitative variable that I want to do the box plot for. So in this case, that would be the insects trapped. This is the quantitative information. And I want it to do a separate box for each color. So where it says by variable, now I'm going to click add variable. And this time I'm going to put in board color. Notice the insects trapped is grayed out, so I can't choose that one this time. And then down here at the bottom, it says box plot options. So um, this is just some extra information that it's going to print out on the sheet that it creates with the box plot. So you can leave them checked or uncheck them. It doesn't really matter that much. When I'm done with all that, I click on Create. It's working, working, and look at that. It created another spreadsheet within Google Sheets with my box plots. Uh, and down here at the bottom, it gave me all kinds of great information about this data. So it gave me the mean for each color, the standard deviation, the number of observations, and it actually even did a confidence interval for each of the, the means for each of those colors there. Um, so this box plot is great. I think it's nice and very visual. The only downside to using Google Sheets instead of Excel is I can't customize the graph as much as I might like to. So looking at my colors here, I have blue, green, white, and yellow, but those colors don't actually correspond to the colors that the boxes actually are. So um, I, you know, it kind of messes with my mind to have it say green over here and the actual color of the box is red. Um, but for most data that doesn't have a, have a color association with it, then it won't be a problem. So this is a, a great way to construct box plots if you don't have access to Excel 2016, or if you have a Mac, because I don't think box plots work on the Mac for Excel 2016.